Hi, and welcome to our Cookie Phases of the Moon program. My name is Amanda, and today we're going to be looking at the eight basic phases of the moon using cookies. If you'd like to follow along at home, you'll need a few basic supplies. A pen, a spoon, paper plate, and between four and eight of your favorite sandwich cookies, depending upon how well you can twist them open without breaking the cookies. Let's take a quick look at some basic definitions that are going to help us with our moon phases. Before we create our cookie phases of the moon, we're going to learn some facts about the lunar cycle, as well as simple definitions that will help us identify the moon phases as we recreate them with our cookies. So let's take a look at a few quick facts. The moon does not create its own light. Moonlight we see is actually the moon reflecting the sun's light. The moon rotates around the earth, but we always see the same side of the moon. Half of the moon is always illuminated by the sun, like day and night here on earth but we don't always see the entire illuminated half. Each phase of the moon is a result of the relative positions of the earth, moon, and sun. And lastly, it takes approximately 29.5 days for the moon to complete a full cycle through its phases. So what's the difference between a new moon and a full moon? A new moon occurs when the illuminated side of the moon is not visible from earth. A full moon is the opposite. The entire visible side of the moon is illuminated and we see the full circle of the moon's outline. How about the difference between waxing and waning? When we say that the moon is waxing, we are talking about the time period after the new moon but before the full moon, when the visible illuminated part of the moon is increasing in size. A waning moon occurs after the full moon but before the new moon. During the waning period of the lunar cycle, the visible illuminated part of the moon is growing smaller. And the final two terms we're going to look at are crescent versus gibbous. A crescent moon is one that is visible but is less than halfway visibly illuminated from the Earth, as you'll see in the picture to the right of the definition. When the moon is more than halfway visibly illuminated, it, but not a full moon, it's called a gibbous moon, as you'll see again in the picture to the right of the definition. Great, so now that we have some basic definitions in mind, let's create our own cookie phases of the moon. All right, so let's make our cookie phases of the moon. The first thing we're going to do is label our plate with the moon phases. So if you have a pen, you can go ahead and write the moon phases around the plate. I've actually made printouts to help you see the moon phases. So we're going to start at the top of the plate with your new moon. And then your next phase is going to be your waxing crescent, your first quarter, your waxing gibbous moon, your full moon, the waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent. So if you need to pause the video to go ahead and label your plate, you can do that or you can label it after the fact. So the next thing we want to do is take our cookies and we actually want to twist them all open. Um, this will help you determine whether you have some that would work better as a full moon or a new moon um, before you start scraping your filling off of them. So we're just going to very carefully twist our cookies open and you can set them to the side. All right, so that one probably has the least amount of filling on it. So I'm probably gonna start with that one for my new moon. So the filling on your cookies is gonna represent the amount of illuminated, the amount of the illuminated part of the moon that you can see. So for the new moon, we can't see any of the moon really. So we wanna to try to scrape as much of that icing off as possible. So if you can't get all the icing scraped off, um, if you're using, you can also just flip the cookie over because there's no icing on that side and that can be your new moon. Now the next easiest one is probably your full moon. So go ahead and find your cookie half that has the most intact icing, or if you need to smear a little bit onto it, you can to, to make it that full circle. And so you're gonna place that for your full moon. So then we're gonna go ahead and do the first quarter and the third quarter, because those are the next easiest to do. 
And remember the first quarter and the third quarter are basically a half illuminated moon. So what you want to do is go ahead and take your cookie and you can kind of, whoops, if your cookie breaks, you might have to just hold it together. Um, draw a line in the icing about halfway up your cookie and scrape half of that icing off. So that is going to be, and it's okay, like I said, if your cookie breaks, that will be my first quarter. And again, do that, find another cookie that's got a happy icing. If you don't want to hold the cookie in your hand, if you think it might make it less likely to break, you can go ahead and sit it on the plate while you're scraping the icing off. And that is going to be my third quarter moon. Oop, you see that cookie broke a little bit too. It's okay. So now we get to the slightly trickier ones. So the waxing and waning gibbous moon are going to be, remember, waxing means the moon, the part that we can see is getting larger, and then waning means it's getting smaller. And gibbous indicates to us that it is bigger than half illuminated or more than half illuminated. So go ahead and take your next two most icing pieces and we want to make our sort of two thirds illuminated moon there. So you're just gonna kind of scrape off a little more than half of, or leave a little more than half the icing on for your moon. And so that can be our waxing one. And we'll do the same thing on the waning side. So this is basically the phase in which it is shrinking back down from being a full moon, but is not quite to that only half illuminated phase yet. And then our last two phases are our waxing crescent and our waning crescent. And this is where you're just seeing that really kind of crescent shaped sliver of the moon left. So you can take your last two cookies. You really just want to make a sort of a crescent shape there and then scrape off the rest of that icing or filling, depending upon the cookie you're using. And so that can be our waxing crescent. crescent there. And so now you can see if you go around in your clockwise rotation here, you start with the new moon where we can't really see the illuminated part of the moon at all. With the waxing crescent, we start to see a little bit of an illuminated sliver there. You work your way to your first quarter where half of the moon is illuminated that we can see. Your waxing gibbous moon is more than half but not quite full. And then you have your full moon which is today. You have your waning gibbous as we start to lose the illumination, your third quarter where we can only see about half the moon illuminated, and your waxing crescent where we're just seeing kind of that smaller sliver of the moon illuminated and then you repeat your cycle with your new moon again. So now you have your cookie phases of the moon. Thank you for joining us for our cookie phases of the moon program today. If you'd like to find more information about other upcoming library programs, Visit our website at library.carr.org and check out our calendar of events.